Welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. In this video, we are sharing our new to us 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trail Hawk. We replaced our 2021 Jeep Cherokee Trail Hawk. One of the main reasons I wanted to replace it was I wanted more towability. With the Grand, we get 2,000 more pounds of towing ability and a couple hundred more pounds of tongue weight. The tongue weight was something I really had to watch towing with the Cherokee as far as whatever I put in the back end of the Cherokee. With this vehicle, I can put our refrigerators and whatever other gear I want in there and not come close to hitting the tongue weight limit. Of course, I had to make some modifications as soon as we got it home. As the flag on the rear window, some special plate frames. Uh, I reinforced the tag mount so it would hold the front fog lights and have those all wired up and ready to go. We need those lights when we're exploring like places in the Washita National Forest up high. Sometimes it gets really foggy and they come in really handy to have. Well, this is the new to us 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. We're on our way to the Casa Tot River area just to do some driving around, get out of the house. Christmas rained all day yesterday. And this is one of our normal stops, pit stops on the way to that area. Beautiful little place off of Highway 71. In the Pond Creek area. And like I said, we've been here many times. Beautiful place. Stretch your legs, let Remy run around a little bit. See what's new in the area. And so far we are really enjoying the Grand Cherokee. This thing rides so smooth. And I thought the Cherokee Trailhawk rode smooth. This uh, has an air ride system on it. And uh, man, it's just smooth. That's all I can really say about it. It's just smooth. I did go ahead and get our roof rack put on. I had to purchase some crossbars because they're different than the Trailhawk, the Cherokee Trailhawk's crossbars. And of course, we got our wee boost going. And I put the flag on the back window. And we have our refrigerator, our set power refrigerator, and normal overlanding type stuff in the back. A whole lot more room back there. In this particular grand, the rear seats are also heated, front seats are heated and cooled. So we're going to have a lot of comfort as we explore forest roads and other areas when we go to state parks camping and stuff like that. But I wanted to introduce the Grand Cherokee. I call it Nighthawk. It is a diamond black. But anyway, we are going to continue on toward the Casa Top River. I will skip ahead just a little bit on my narration. After making our trip to the Costa River area and driving the trail that we had mapped for Onyx Off-Road that takes you to the different camping areas along the Costa River, we quickly decided that tires were going to be the next upgrade to the Grand Cherokee Trail Hawk. The tires that's on there now, uh, I don't even remember the name of it, but they are a summer tire and they are horrible off-road. Even aired down, they were terrible, they were loud. Uh, on the interstate, they do pretty good, but if you hit a rough patch of asphalt, they make a horrific low tone that I can't stand. All right, we're up in the... Across the Todd area, trying to jeep out on some of these forest roads. Well, the tires I'm gonna have to get replaced, they're more highway tread, summer tire than they are anything. So, hopefully, they won't puncture anything on these roads. I think we'll be good. I aired them down some. We're gonna continue on. I 
hopefully next year I will be putting a lower winch plate on the Grand. I uh, already have a winch that I've been hanging on to. I wanted to put it on the Cherokee, but there's so much involved with that that I just didn't want to get into it. And I'm glad I didn't now because we no longer have the Cherokee. Uh, but I do want to put the lower winch plate on this. I believe I want to try to keep the factory look. Uh, so I'm not going to change that up a lot, but it'll just have the winch up front. Uh, it will be a synthetic line, so I won't add any more weight than I have to to the front. And I feel like since it's got the V6 and this vehicle does come with the option of a V8 that it should handle that little bit of extra weight just fine. Of course, as it being a Trailhawk, it does have skid plates underneath. The only thing I did not see protected under there was a rear diff. And uh, I know somebody who makes a uh, skid plate for that and the transmission. And I also know someone that makes a plate for that. Hey, we're at Casa Top Falls area. Nice little campsites over there. The last time we were here, we walked out here and I was walking in the middle of this on the rocks. I don't believe I'll do that today. As far as the trail goes down right now, it's full of water. Yeah, that rock out there, I walked all the way across, almost all the way over. It's pretty deep right in there. So I stopped and went back. But yeah, all this was just rocks. The falls are back over there. This way is pretty smooth. Well, folks, the Casa Tot is rolling today. That's flying across this bridge. That's a lot of water coming across there. We're not going to attempt to go across it. Because at this point, I had no idea how this thing would handle that. And it ain't worth going across that strong a current. It's flowing. I do feel like this vehicle is going to be kept for quite a while. Uh, I'm really liking it. And I love the Cherokee. And at the time I got the Cherokee, I was not knowing exactly how much I was going to be towing. And since we've got the Rockwood 1910 ESP pop-up camper, we really enjoy camping with it. So we will be towing it a lot. So this is going to be a great tow vehicle for that. And once I get the tires and the winch put on the vehicle like I want and make it mine, uh, it's going to hold a special place to me. So we look forward to sharing all that with y'all and uh, see how this thing holds up to the use that we put it to. And uh, 
Hope y'all follow along. Click that subscribe button to keep up with our stories and adventures. And uh, we are headed to the Costa River. And we took a lot of pictures of the Grand Cherokee in some special spots. Uh, we did run across some water crossings that we did not cross because the Costa Top was flowing with force this trip. Normally, the bridges do not even have water over them. This time, uh, yes sir, they were not going to be passed by us. And although we probably could have, we were not going to take the chance of being washed over the bridge. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video and uh, we look forward to sharing more adventures with the Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. And uh, yeah, I hope y'all get outside and do some exploring too. Alright guys, this is Ed Banks. And as you can see, the water is uh, flowing here too. We're not going to even try crossing that. That is some moving water right there. The Costa Tide is full. But there is a bridge that goes across there. Beautiful, but we ain't crossing that. <laughs> we are at Ed Banks. We just fixed us some uh, wraps. Fixing to go back up there and get mine. It's cold, so we're gonna eat in the Jeep. We come in from that side there, and then you just make a loop, and come out up there. And then you come down to the water here. This has been pretty high, all this is muddy, so I don't know how far out I'm gonna walk. Yeah, it's muddy. It looks like I make it to the rock. Cause there's that bridge that we decided not to try to cross. Costa Todd is not low today. Come on boy, let's go eat. I'm not sure where else we're gonna head. We've spent most of the day driving. Really loving the Grand Cherokee. I gotta get them tires replaced though. But other than that, thumbs up on the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk.
I finally found a bridge we are going to cross. <laughs> All the currents underneath it. All right, let's carry on. <laughs> 